was a good adventure. Gosh, what a great time. Right? So good being outside. I had a great time learning about kits and um, getting to explore the outdoors. Yeah, I really think that, oh, uh, I really think that this was a success. What do you think your favorite part was? Huh, I think my favorite part was catching the macro invertebrates. I think that was super fun. Totally fun. Yeah. yeah. I think mine was probably the water quality tests. Those are always a pretty good time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I learned not to shake the test tube. That's right! <laughs> end over end. <laughs> Did you have fun? What were some of your favorite parts about doing the kit lessons? Alright, now that everything's put away, I'm still thinking about how awesome the kits were and how much fun I had. I learned a lot of new things. Did you learn anything, Kristen? Yeah, yeah. I learned, um, like, I learned what a first salmon ceremony is. I didn't even know about those before this, so I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was a great video to watch. Mm -hmm. I really liked um, the lesson that Joe did for us. I really I learned a lot about biodiversity and how having different species of plants and animals and fungi are so important for habitat health. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think, too, I learned, I knew that salmon needed a lot of oxygen or a little bit of oxygen. Hopefully, you are all saying a lot of oxygen. Uh, but I didn't know why for the eggs in Alvin. And it's because there's so many of them in a little area that they need a lot of oxygen so they don't use it all up and all die. So I thought that was really interesting. Mm -hmm. I also really liked how we learned about how watersheds are all interconnected and how what's happening in one watershed can affect a neighboring watershed like pollution or poor water quality or you know changes in habitat. I thought I didn't realize how much was all connected together. Yeah, I thought it was really interesting that you know what we do here can affect everybody downriver of us and everything someone does upstream can affect us down here. It's it's really interesting to see that we can really all have an effect on each other like that. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, what did you learn? Or were there any cool facts that you might not have heard before? I'm really curious. Think about that for a minute. What did you learn? Maybe you learned about indicator species. We talked about two groups of animals that are indicator species in a watershed. The first being salmon. They're a really important indicator of water quality and habitat. A second one was macroinvertebrates, where maybe you got to catch some or you got to play that game. But they're also a really important indicator species telling us about our water quality and maybe if salmon are present or not. Maybe you had something stick in your head about the riparian area. The salmon need a riparian area to have a healthy habitat for reasons like water filtering and shade. And maybe you're also going to hang on to the fact that that riparian area also needs the salmon, which is a really, really cool concept that they're sort of helping each other and it goes, ties back to everything being interconnected. Hopefully you also thought of some ways that we as humans can help the salmon and improve their environment by doing things like planting trees in the riparian area, making sure there is a riparian area, trying to keep that water cool, keeping a lot of oxygen in there. Sometimes it's just about monitoring, just watching the river and making sure that conditions don't deteriorate past where salmon can survive. And that's going on all over the Pacific Northwest. Mm -hmm. One of the things I'm going to do personally is I'm going to join in more cleanups and help clean up trash and litter around our areas and then maybe help with some plantings here that we do with the watershed council. So we had a really good time as we said we hope you had a really good time. We would love for you to visit our website and add in some photos that you took or some findings. You can email myself or Sarah any questions that you had. There's also a survey. We care about your experience so if you fill out the survey that you'll find on our website we will find out how to make this experience better if we have to do something like this again. 
So we thank you all for doing that in advance. And we couldn't have done this without uh, our funders and our supporters. So we would like to take a moment to thank everyone that's helped us along the way. And finally, these kits would not have been possible without the anonymous donors from the Oregon Community Foundation, the anonymous donor from Albany, Joe Deardorff from the City of Albany, Jasmine Garcia, and Mary's River Watershed Council. I would also like to thank Emily Day from the City of Albany, Catherine Secure, Alvarez, who did all our translation of our written material. Thank you so much. A thank you to our co-workers who helped us all on the way to our board of directors. Thank you to the teachers who believe in the program, the students who went out there and did science like champions, yeah. and your families who supported you. Thank you, thank you so much. You might hear water shed a lot during your lessons and through our intro. Blah. Nope. <laughs> okay. Whoops. Hand sanitizer. Do, do, do. Who keeps their hands like this? Literally no <laughs> Okay. Now that I've collected. Uh... <laughs> okay. Got it. <laughs> ah, la, la, la. These four functions are why riparian areas are so important and why we try to keep riparian, riparian, riparian. We want to find these and the sensitive uh, macroinvertebrates to make to blah. Okay. Oh, Matthew. Oh, haha. Uh, <laughs> dang it. <laughs> okay. Cadence. Everybody, everybody messes up It's something. gonna take a few. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey there! Come on and check it. Nope. <laughs> what we don't usually think about is the fact that salmon... Darn it. Since they live underwater... Blah. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Oh, a little bit left. You're like right there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was gonna mess up anyway. Are you in thought or okay? <laughs> I thought you were. I thought you were. I thought you were envisioning. I thought you were kind of like. I hope you enjoyed the simulation game about salmon. Salmon. Same oh. salmon. <laughs> okay. Hamless. <laughs> we all live in a watershed. I live in a watershed, you live in a watershed. Yay. <laughs> One, two, three. Now let's go! <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't say anything. I was like, ah! <laughs> oh no. We're gonna be here all day. <laughs>